All right, folks, how are we doing? It's Shabash. It's Hero of Aetheric, and I never thought I'd say this in a Northern Forge game, but this video is going to talk about trading. Now, the first thing on trading in Hero of Aetheric is that there is no direct trade to trade with a particular player, or there's no auction house system that uses a base currency like gold or orange. So you can't sit here in Lotan Grand Exchange offering, you know, a million orns or selling a Mimic King head for a million orns or a billion orns or whatever. As fun as that would be. Now, trading unlocks at level 75. And when you hit level 75, that is tier four, you're going to go to your origin town. And you can build a trading post by speaking to your man, Go Fanon. And okay, I'm on a tier four character now. So yeah, speak to Go Fanon, and you can see down the bottom, you should have the option to build a trading post. It costs 500,000 gold, 15 wood, 15 stone, and a little bit of rune stone. Click on that, tap somewhere, and make sure you have enough materials. So I guess thematically, there's basically like an imaginary merchant traveling around, trading caravan, going around every player's origin town, picking up items from one player and dropping them off in place of another player's item. Essentially, the way it works is you go in the caravan tab of the trading post, you select an item uh, for trade and the game matches your item with another similar item randomly after a certain period of time and you can just retrieve that traded item in the trading post. So for example, here I traded an ornate cursed monster tomb and in its place, I received an ornate Heimdall's shield. So of course there are some rules as to what item uh, your equipment will be exchanged with. First of all, your items have to be level one. So if you do have leveled gear, for example, you will need to smelt it in a blacksmith. Uh, however, you cannot use a blackstone to level a weapon up to level two and then level three and then smelt it. Uh, by the way, that is like, that would be a kind of endless material exploit. So you cannot do that. So if you do find a weapon that you think you might want to trade, don't level it up with a whetstone, first of all. Shout out to Maester Tazzle for pointing that one out to me. Um, items then must also be unlocked so you can unlock your items in your inventory um, basically any item that you equip at any point will automatically be locked uh, but you can just click on it and then click unlock or you could find you know you can also long tap select multiple items and then unlock them all at once like that and then Essentially what happens is your item will be traded first of all for an item of the same tier and secondly for an item of the same quality. So as you can see here, this ornate curse monster tomb that has a tier eight item and in its place, I received another ornate tier eight item. That could be any random tier eight uh, ornate basically. Um, so yeah, really the good thing about trading is um, if you find a high quality item that your class cannot wear, you can just chuck it in the trading post and hope that you get an item back that your class can actually use. So for example, I am playing a Beowulf here, which is uh, not a really good example because I can wear all types of gear. But if you imagine that I was a realm shifter, for example, uh, Realm Shifters can only wear Thief gear, but you can see I have this nice legendary Gradlon's Archistaff, which is obviously a mage item. So I could chuck this in the caravan. So you offer your item. And by the way, it doesn't cost anything uh, to put items up for trade. So we've sent our legendary Gradlon's Archistaff into the caravan. You see our offers went up. And here is our offering here. So after a certain period of time, that will get traded for a legendary tier 10 item. And I'm just going to hope that that's like a realm spikes or something that I can actually use. And um, when you level up your trading post, so like other buildings, it costs gold to level it up. But basically leveling up increases your offer slots, increases your capacity. So up to 12 is the max currently. So you can put in 12 items for trade. 
and uh, get 12 items back at any one time. Uh, notice here I've got uh, an Amity in here that's been sitting there for ages. Uh, you're probably better off just recollecting Amities you don't want and uh, getting a diluted demonic from it rather than actually trading uh, because there's a, you know, if there's a good Amity out there, chances are somebody's going to use it rather than trade for it. My only real gripe at the moment with trading is the fact that there's currently no kind of filter for putting items into the caravan, like actually trading the items you want to trade for. Um, literally everything is just here in one massive list, all tiers, all qualities, weapons, head slots, chest slots, leg slots, off hands, accessories, etc, etc. There's no filter in. I think this is going to come because I have seen plenty of comments from it on the, the Aetheric Discord. Uh, pretty sure Northern Forge are aware of that. Um, you know, most of the other item or inventory kind of menus, they do have that filter normally in the bottom right hand corner. So hopefully that will come soon because at the moment it's, uh, yeah, it is a pain. Uh, for example, I think all the accessories or the monster tombs are at the bottom, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, scroll, 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 scroll. Let's see if we can find any monster tombs. Do, 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 do. Nice guy trading uh, ornate monster tombs. If you're tier eight for the cursed monster tombs, you know, chuck in, chuck those in. Tier four, that would be a very nice thing to do, actually. You know, high level character, go farm uh, a bunch of tier four uh, Fomorian lords or get some ornate monster tombs and uh, chuck those in and get those, uh, get the get the experience share handed out uh, like that. So yeah, there you go. All these uh, tombs and accessories are at the bottom, uh, which is just super, super awkward. But hopefully that will be uh, amended and uh, adjusted soon from Northern Forge. I have faith, I have faith. Massive thanks as always to the Arisen Orna Legends for supporting me on Patreon and on Twitch, their support. Your support is uh, yeah hugely appreciated, keeps my content and uh, Orna Legends ecosystem going. And thank you for watching the video. I hope it was useful. If you do have any further questions, comments, etc., drop a comment and uh, I'll get to it as soon as I can. I think uh, uh, most of you appreciate how I've been answering comments uh, and yeah, I just do my best. Happy to help out. And uh, if you do like the content, if you do like the video, give us a like, subscribe for more massive Aetheric content coming soon. We've got a few more guides and then we're going to be diving into some uh, fun challenge stuff as well. I'm Shabash. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Ciao.